Okay, this question comes from Andrew from The Bean, from Bean Town, Boston. Uh, thanks for watching, Andrew. Your question is regarding uh, warm ups, warm up sets, and how I go about warming up. Um, basically, it's the same for any muscle. I do what I've, uh, I've spoken on this many times. Um, I, I, I basically pre exhaust whatever muscle I'm training. So if it's legs, I'll start off with a ton of leg extensions or hamstring curls. Or, you know, uh, if it's arms, triceps, I'll start with a rope extension and tons of tons of sets there. Usually three to five sets just to get me going. Um, uh, so bench press, um, but I, I do a warm up for each particular exercise as well. That's a common mistake that people make, and that's where a lot of injuries happen. So let's let's say, for example, you do your first exercise is uh, um, tricep pushdowns, rope extensions. Right? I start with a light weight, 12, 15 reps. Then I'll do another set with a little more weight, 12, 15 reps. Put more weight on, 12 to 15 reps until I'm up to the stack and I get a working set in. I might do a drop set, okay? Time to move on to the next exercise. Now, the, commonly, people will go to their next exercise and throw on as much weight as possible. So say you go over to a close grip bench. You're not gonna load it up with three or four plates right away. That's where the injuries happen. Just because you're using that muscle and you've already warmed it up, doesn't mean you're warmed up to do a different angle. So you just did extensions and now you're doing presses. That's a different angle and that's where injuries happen. So I again will start with one plate, 12 to 15 reps, put another plate on 12 to 15, until I get to my working set. You, you'll commonly see someone say for chest do cable flies and then they'll do a flat bench or incline bench and then their very next exercise is a flat bench which is a different angle and they'll load the weight that's where injuries occur um, you know they're they're, they're not 100 percent foolproof uh, there's no way to 100 percent avoid injuries but you can be as smart as, as possible and do the best you can to avoid them um, so that's it every movement Every exercise, I will do a series of warm-ups to get to my working set. Um, and I also do particular exercises that are better for warming up. Uh, and for example, like I said earlier, the, the pre-exhaust sets, doing extensions before squatting, doing cable flies before benching. Um, I would never start with a compound movement. There's just too much involved, too much uh, there to go wrong. <coughs> so I would, I would always spend time warming up all the surrounding muscle groups. You know, if you're going to squat, I would warm up the quads with extensions, the hamstrings with hamstring curls, then move on to a compound movement. So, um, and you asked about shoulders. Um, Shoulders are going to be the same way. I, I always start with a, I usually typically start with rear delts. So I'll start with light weights and add a little more as I go, add a little more as I go. Then I'll go to side raises, same thing, light weight, add more as I go until I get to my working sets. Then maybe front raises. Then I'll do a press. The press is always either last or one of the last exercises I'll do. And that's common for everything. My compound movements always come last or close to last. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. I hope you can uh, try that and incorporate that into your workouts to not only help you get stronger, get bigger, but uh, avoid injury. So good luck and thanks for watching. This is the Boston Mass. Thanks again for watching. Now, if you're not subscribing, subscribe now. Tell all your friends to subscribe. If you haven't, do it now. All right? Peace.